know what some of you are thinking is say, Ken, what are you doing working on a, on a lawnmower? Well, you know, there's times when I have to do things other than just work on Mercedes Benz. But you know, it's March, mid-March here in the Pacific Northwest. The grass is growing. I decided to roll the mower out of the warehouse to do a little bush flying. You can see my bush flying plane here behind me and I need to mow my runway. Well, guess what? <laughs> the mower won't start. And I'm sure this has happened to a lot of you. You've let your mower sit over the winter and it just won't start come spring. Well, this was really interesting because we were able to use a special little tool that I actually sell on my website that I use to work on cars to troubleshoot and get this little mower going again. So let me show you how we did it and what the problem was. Of course, every tractor is a little bit different, but the procedures for troubleshooting a no start problem in these very similar to a car. You know, the first thing you want to do is get over here and open up and look at the fuel. I've already done that. Don't assume just because the gauge says there's fuel in it, there is. Get in there and look at the fuel. And of course, on a lot of these old tractors, there's an on and off valve for the fuel system that people sometimes turn off for winter. So make sure the valve is on. But once you're sure that you have fuel in the tank, it's gasoline, not something else, and you have the valve on. The first thing I do is I check for spark because you're either going to have a fuel issue or a spark issue. And uh, what I do is I just get another spark plug if you have it, and you can pull one of the wires off. If it's a single cylinder, just pull the spark plug wire off, and then you ground the plug. And don't hold on to this, of course, but then get in and turn uh, the tractor or the lawnmower over. And if you don't have any spark, then you're going to have to go after the reason why there isn't any spark. But you want to eliminate that right away. Make sure there's spark. Most of the time you'll find there is spark, and then you've narrowed it down to a fuel problem. I'm looking right here at the hose. There's a filter here, the on-off valve. And then if you look at this little unit here, this is the fuel pump. It's a little uh, diaphragm pump. It takes crankcase pressure, which moves the diaphragm, and pumps fuel up through the fuel line and over into the carburetor, and the carburetor's right down here. So what I did is right away, you want to take the fuel line off where it exits the fuel pump. And we've already done this, so you're going to see wetness here when I pull this hose off. But when I pulled this hose off earlier this morning, this was totally dry. Totally dry. We got in, uh, got on the, uh, the mower and cranked it over and nothing was coming out of the fuel pump. So this is where this handy little tool comes in that I've developed for working on cars. We call this a fluid extractor. And we use this to extract fluid when you're working in around, uh, you know, Mercedes or any other car. But this is a great tool for little gas engines. It can extract extra oil. How many times have you overfilled the oil on these uh, lawnmowers? And then you go, oh no, I got to tip it upside down. <laughs> <laughs> to, you can actually put this down in there with a longer hose and pump vacuum and you can extract the excess oil out of these small gas engines. But well, watch what I'm, I did here is I just plugged this in to the end of the fuel pump and then I pumped up vacuum. Look at that. And I was able to pull fuel through. It took a while and after I pumped four or five times I was able to get fuel through this uh, fuel pump and then of course we just hooked it right back up and it started right right up and I know you're thinking well how could that have been well what happens is when these fuel pumps dry out over winter they can get a little gummy a little sticky and they won't act properly to pull fuel so just us sucking fuel through this little fuel pump here getting it wet with new gasoline we plugged it back in cranked it a few times it started up started right up and we got a sweet running little lawnmower now. Most of you probably don't know in a former life I was uh, quite experienced at working on small gas engines. When I was a bush pilot flying in Dutch New Guinea I spent a lot of time repairing people's Honda 300 watt generators, lawnmowers, Briggs and Stratton motors that used to run washing machines and so on and so on. So I've been around small gas en engines a lot and you might want to consider this tool. Uh, 
This is not available on the market as you see it because we take a couple components from different kits and we put this together specifically as a, an extract extractor. It has a high volume vacuum pump so you can pull quickly either fluids out of your transmission, out of your engine, out of your lawnmower, out of your boat. And you can use it in all kinds of situations. It's great for sucking uh, brake fluid out of the master cylinder when you're changing brake pads and so on. So if you're interested in this, just follow the link below. It'll take you right to it on my website. Now, I'm ready to get out there and mow that runway so I can fly my uh, Super Cub here, and it's going to be a great day. This is Baby Rock.